Bangladesh has been one of the best performing economies in the region in recent years with growth averaging over 6%. Currently there are initiatives to bolster trade including FTA talks with Thailand. Bangladesh Ambassador to Thailand, Her Excellency Saide Munat Tasneem joins us to highlight the opportunities for Thai investors. very much for joining us today. Now let's take a look at uh, the business front, economic partnership. What's the current uh, partnership, the trade value, and uh, how are things looking as, as we move forward? Well, within the ASEAN, Thailand is Bangladesh's third largest trade partner. Also invest in terms of investment within the, from the ASEAN countries, Thailand is in third position. Number one is Singapore, number two Malaysia, number three Thailand. With Thailand, we have bilateral trade of nearly one billion US dollars, and we have Thai investment in Bangladesh FDI around 1.5 billion US dollars. So um, I wouldn't call it small. Uh, it's not small by any chance. But Bangladesh is exposed to Thailand is very little. It's less than 5% of what we import from Thailand. And we import huge amounts of consumer products. So uh, trade relations are very good. Um, our exports are growing uh, around 10 to 15% each year. But um, uh, you know we want the trade to double. So as I mentioned that, you know, we had the trade talks last year after a gap of about five years. So last year, the two commerce ministers agreed that we have to double the trade figure to nearly 1.8 billion or $2 billion uh, by 2021. But in order to do that, you know, we really have to look into the tariff structure. Mm -hmm. There has to be more incentive between the two countries, bilateral incentive to increase trade. Um, tariff structure in Thailand is pretty, pretty stiff. And um, you know we have been asking for some duty reductions in Thai ports. Uh, however, the good news is that you know uh, the Thai Prime Ministers, uh, after the trade talks last year, Excellency um, Prayut Chanachar's Prime Minister for Investment, uh, Mr. Kopsak Putrakul, he went to Bangladesh last May, and he took a 30-member investment and trade delegation, and we discussed uh, signing of an FTA, a mm -hmm. free trade agreement, uh, which you know can be complicated. But at least the discussion has started and we are looking into how we can, you mentioned partnership, so it's going to be an economic partnership framework uh, FTA where we will discuss how to reduce tariffs uh, perhaps from both ends and also discuss how we can increase investment, how we can provide technical knowledge uh, and business knowledge to each other. So it's going to cover the services sector, the goods and services, both. And uh, we do hope that, you know, the fact that uh, there's a huge trade imbalance between the two countries, which is in favor of Thailand, uh, Thailand would particularly look into that. And there'll be a balance in, in trade tariff structure from both between both countries. So definitely we want to double the trade, bilateral trade. It's not small by any account, mm -hmm. but we want it to double. So when do you expect this uh, trade talks, FTA negotiations to uh, be effective? The trade talks took place in 2017. The next one should be in, um, I don't know, we'll try to put it next year. As you know that Bangladesh is having its elections by the end of this year and Thailand is also expected to have elections. So hopefully right after the elections, uh, 2019 we'll have the second trade talks and the FTA would be discussed uh, next year on, on, on those grounds. But we are already doing the groundwork that Thai Commerce Ministry is drafting a uh, draft FTA which they're supposed to send to us. Now, the Bangladesh government is also aiming to draw investors into the country. What's the current investment climate? The investment the climate is excellent. As you know, Bangladesh, under the government of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, she has, she's the third time Prime Minister now. So she was elected in 2009 and now this is 2018, so nearly 10 years of our governance. And during this period, Bangladesh grew at an extremely high growth rate. So our growth rate was 6.5% in 2014. Uh, and 15. From 2016, it went to 7%, so it succeeded 7%. Mm -hmm. And we last year, uh, we had a 7.3% um, uh, growth rate, and this year we have 7.6%. So we are growing at 7% right now, 7.6%, so you can imagine the growth rate is very high. And, uh, the three economic pillars that we have contributing to this growth rate, number one is exports. Mm -hmm. We are the second largest ready-made garment exporter in the world after China and exports do contribute up to 37 billion a year. Then we have, we are a major migrant sending country. We have 10 million migrant workers abroad. So they send remittances back at home. So we have about 15 billion US dollars as remittances. And the third component is of course, FDI. 
In terms of FDI also, the investment climate is excellent. You know, JICA has rated Bangladesh that it's had within Asia, it has one of the top ease of doing business in investment. What about the opportunities that are available for Thai business investors? What particular sector do you think would provide opportunities for Thailand? Yes. Um, you know, like I mentioned, uh, Minister Kopsak just visited Bangladesh and Excellency discussed, we discussed at length which are the areas and sectors that Thai businessmen should be investing. Definitely, we would look into services sector, that means hospitality. As you know, Thailand receives large number of millions and millions of tourists. And uh, as you know, Bangladesh also has great potential for tourism. We have Buddhist tourism that Thailand can take interest in. We have general tourism along the Cox's Bazaar belt uh, that Thailand can take interest in. Uh, apart from the tourism and hospitality sector, we do have um, agriculture, food processing. As you know that Bangladesh has similar climate like Thailand and we produce more or less the same fruits, but we don't preserve them. You know, you sell that, you process the food, fruits and you make dry fruits and you sell it globally under your sasaint and your, uh, uh, you know, uh, otop. otop. And, uh, during the conversation between our Prime Minister and Her Royal Highness, she also mentioned that we want Thailand to invest in food processing industry and agriculture sector in Bangladesh. The other sector is the IT sector. Both our countries have the digital economy aspirations mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, we have set up IT parks where you can have absolutely duty-free production and take it back the profits but government will provide you land for that. So IT is a sector definitely Bangladesh eyes when it comes to Thailand, especially because it has a digital industry for our policy. At the same time, we're looking into you know the power sector, power and energy, telecom sector. Uh, these are the areas we also focus during our trade investment conference. Now, one of the areas which can contribute to growth is tourism, as you did mention. I'd like to ask your excellency, what are your plans in promoting Bangladesh amongst the Thai people? Because you have a lot of beautiful uh, attractions and some of the World Heritage Sites in Bangladesh. Yes, we have quite a few UNESCO World Heritage Sites. You know, geographical size wise we are a smaller country. We are actually uh, less than half of Thailand. But within that small geographic region, we have the uh, Sundarbans, the UNESCO, you know, the mangrove forest, the largest mangrove forest in the world. We share this with India. And, uh, but then we also have the longest stretch of uh, undivided beach in the world. It's called the Cox's Bazaar Beach. Mm -hmm. We have the Silet Plains, Silet hilly areas where we have tea gardens, it's beautiful. We have ancient 3rd century, 5th century, 8th century Buddhist monasteries from the, from the Ahsoka period. And um, we have the Chittagong Hill Tracks, which is a hilly areas. One thing we showcased in the development fair is the ethnic minorities in Bangladesh, which are the hill peoples. So the hill peoples of Bangladesh and the hill peoples of Thailand are absolutely ethnically same. They probably originated from Chin Kachi in those areas. And uh, we have the cultural diversity in the Chittagong Hill Tracks that definitely the Thai people should visit because the Buddhist belt of Bangladesh is in Chittagong and Cox's Bazaar. Your Excellency, you've been here for a couple of years. Do you have a favorite destination in Thailand, a place that you like? Yes, you know, I'm not a beach person, I'm a mountain person, so I always like going back to the hill stations in Thailand, uh, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. I've also been to Nan Province and uh, Chantaburi. You know, you have hills everywhere, mm -hmm. but in particular, um, also, you know, like deep south, there are hills. So I've been to most of the hilly regions, but I would like to explore more of hill resorts. So, Your Excellency, before we end the program, would you like to say anything to our fans, our audience? Certainly. I want to say long live Bangladesh Thailand friendship. Pua Mitapap, Tidi Rawang, Pratet Thai, Le Pratet Bangladesh. Sadika. Thank you very much.